Hey everyone, it's me, Sam. Have another video for you, and today it's such a lovely day. It really is. It's so bright. Well, I definitely wanted to make a video about racism in South Korea. Keep in mind, I know that I'm going to step on a few toes, so if you are just not willing to listen and you want to have your own views about certain opinions instead of facts, well, you can log out right now. Other than that, just stick around, stick around. Um, I have interesting stories and my spiel about racism in general. All right, so in my last video, I mentioned that I was homeless in South Korea. And being homeless, you are open to so many, so many things that you, you don't notice, you know, when you're living in the real world. Because when you have money, there is a certain way people act and present around you versus when you don't. And it's the same thing when it comes to racism. Racism, of course, it stemmed from years and years of a certain mentality of a, a group that believed that they were superior to someone else. And, well, racism in South Korea is a bit different. See, in South Korea, from, my, from what I've seen and observed, uh, South Koreans weren't very great against North Koreans. Um, there are so many uh, Indian workers in South Korea. There were various groups, ethnic groups, that were dark-skinned. And the way South Koreans treated them was how we, as Americans, treated our own black people. You know, with disgust, disdain, every time when they came by, there was a certain attitude like, well, I'm better than you. Or ignorant, you know, like ignorance to a point where you ignore. If you see someone who is darker than you, who's from um, East Asia, they would get a whole lot of uh, side glances and it wasn't very nice. So it made me think about racism here and in my own country, in the U.S. of A. And it made me realize that racism, yes, it's everywhere, but at the same time, racism looks different. For Koreans, in general, pale skin, it's in. Pale skin is in. And for us here in America, it w the saying would usually be, white is right. And I'm not white, and I come into a homogeneous society, I'm not expecting anyone is not going to treat me any differently, you know? I, I came in expecting racism. I came in expecting to be seen differently. Not because, not because I, I wanted to have this whole front, you know? I wanted to be prepared. Because in America, as a black woman, you are already perceived by your color a certain way. So now, how is another country going to perceive me? And I will be honest, oftentimes it was, it was more of, wow, you're a foreigner. And two, you're from Africa. And three, when they start realizing I'm an English teacher and I'm well learned, that is when the attitude shifts and I am seen as someone who isn't seen as much as their the color of their skin but of course that wasn't with everyone it wasn't at all I had <laughs> several instances where oh my gosh it, it it's really it boggles my mind still but there's this one instance where I remember my hair was out oh you know in a big curly fro I, I, and there's this dude who basically uh, sat right next to me. The moment that the train started moving, he was he got up from his seat, he was like, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. And then he moved to the opposite side of the train and he took a seat there because of course the train stopped at one point and 
the people got off so he went to the other side of the train just so he cannot sit right next to me and for you it's probably like what how can it be about you no it was about me because many south koreans they looked up like oh snap how is how is she going to react and oh snap the way he did it was green you know the way he had to get up from his seat and he was like oh oh i can't do it you know that attitude and yeah it was one of those instances where i was like okay you know what that's expected you know i have a big fro and fros aren't exactly what you see every day in south korea <laughs> so i take those kinds of experiences wherever i go because the perception of black people it really it really is something it really is it's something that you shouldn't ignore so many americans today are so quick to be like oh you're just trying to put race in it no we're not it's just we live it day by day when you're a black person especially a black woman living in a society where you're not exactly accepted based on the color of your your skin yeah you definitely definitely have to put your guard up sometimes or you have to have a certain headstrong mentality that you know what um i came to do this work i came to be here i was i'm allowed to be here so that's what it is anyway i just hope that you can understand that we're we as a people black people brown people everywhere we do we do go through things okay we cannot ignore that these situations you know racism it doesn't exist it does and by you just sweeping it under the rug it just makes the problem even worse you know you make yourself look ignorant because my experiences and a whole bunch of other voices who've actually faced that they're crying out and they need you to step up and say you know what if i see this then I'm going to do it differently because guess what? In South Korea, there are many people. Uh, a few, yeah, there were many ajumas and ajushis who would tell off certain other Koreans, "Hey, don't disrespect her. Hey, don't look at her like that." They would tell them off, the ones who were overtly racist or overtly saying with their expressions or even when they spoke about me in Korean. And other Koreans would either, you know, shut them down or tell them, you know what, hey, uh, you don't do this, quit it. And it's amazing because in South Korea, people keep to themselves. So when people stand up, for me, it felt amazing. So I suggest others to do the same. I had an interesting experience in South Korea and I wouldn't change that for anybody but again let's not forget in that even if we're living in 2018 racism is everywhere brown skin yellow skin racism is everywhere so that's my spiel for today <laughs> I'll see you in the next one bye